Anime isn't a very popular or even widely accepted form of entertainment in Western countries. This makes it difficult to get friends and family members interested in a form of entertainment that we, as fans of anime, uh, really enjoy. And many people will refer their friends to a particular uh, gateway anime uh, in order to get them acquainted with anime as a whole and to hopefully get them hooked. The best way to get other people into anime, in my opinion, is by recommending them anime based on what they already enjoy watching as opposed to just listing off some popular shows. A good way to do this is to base your recommendations uh, based on the types of movies and TV shows that they like to watch. This will be a list of my recommended gateway anime for several different movie and TV genres. Before I get into the list, there are a few disclaimers. Firstly, I believe that for most people, it will be easier for them to get into the series and anime as a whole if they can hear the series in their own language. So, every anime on this list is available dubbed and subbed. Second, and lastly, uh, genres that are extremely similar and or used almost interchangeably, uh, specifically action and adventure and romance and drama, will be combined into one category. But uh, with all that being said, let's get right to the list. For anybody that likes action adventure movies, I recommend Tenkin Top of Gurren Lagann, or Gurren Lagann, or Gurren Lagann, or however that you pronounce it. The story takes place in the distant future where mankind was forced to live underground. In one small underground village, Simon and his friend Kamida make plans to escape from underground and see the world that lies above them. When disaster strikes in their village, Simon and Kamiya and a girl named Yoko must work together along with a small robot that they found while just digging around in order to save the people of the village. Gurren Lagann is a great introduction to uh, anime for any fan of the action adventure movies or, TV or action adventure TV shows. Uh, the story doesn't require much thought, in fact it's probably better if you don't think too much about it, but uh, it does what any good action adventure series does and gives you awesome fight scenes. Uh, this series boasts great animation, likable characters, and awesome fight scenes, and it'll be perfect for anyone uh, just looking to have a fun time and not pay too much attention to the story. For any fan of the comedy genre, I recommend School Rumble. School Rumble's story is about the age-old tale of unrequited love, an approach from a mostly comedic perspective. The two main characters, Kenzie Harima, who is in love with Tenma uh, Takamoko, it's Takamoko, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, uh, who is in love with their uh, other classmate, Karasuma. Both could never find a way to express their feelings to one another. Their efforts often result in horrible misunderstandings or just bitter failures. It's really hard to recommend a comedy series to other people because what is considered funny varies from person to person. But if I had to recommend one series to fans of comedy movies and TV shows, I would choose School Rumble. Uh, the reason I choose this series in particular is because it is uh, very easily accessible to a large number of people. It is a slapstick style of comedy, which is a very common and well accepted form of comedy. And it also doesn't require you to have any real uh, knowledge of Japan or anime uh, at all for that matter uh, to understand it. While there is romance in this series and that might keep some people from watching it, School Rumble is a series that I would recommend to anyone who is into uh, comedy, TV, or movies, uh, romantic or otherwise. For any fan of the horror genre, I recommend Shiki. Strange things have been happening in the small village of Sotoba. A strange illness has been spreading and slowly killing off the villagers. The village's head doctor tries his best to save the sick patients, but he's unsuccessful. What's going on in this secluded village? And can it be stopped? What will happen to the villagers when they discover the truth? I've never really been a big fan of the horror genre, but as soon as I had finished watching Shiki, it had become one of my favorite anime. Uh, some people will see it, uh, the show that is the show about vampires and will automatically associate it with every new cliche or stereotype created by the recent uh, vampire shows and movies, uh, but they couldn't be further from the truth. In my opinion, Shiki is horror and vampires done right. I would highly recommend this series to anyone who's a fan of the horror genre. For anybody that's a fan of romance and drama, I recommend Toradora. The story revolves around the series' as two main characters, Ryuji, who is in love with Taiga's best friend, Minori, and Taiga, who is in love with Ryuji's best friend, Yakuza. After discovering each other's feelings, they decide to work together in order to win the hearts of those that they love. The story shows us the everyday lives of the characters in their pursuit of that love. 
I picked Toradora as my recommendation for the romance and uh, drama genres because, like the other shows listed, it can be very easily accessible for people who are new to the medium. Uh, it is a straightforward romance with lots of drama, and unlike many other romance anime, it doesn't deal with the supernatural. So if you're into romance and drama or, or know someone that's into romance and um, drama, uh, I definitely recommend Toradora. My recommendation for anyone who is into sci-fi is Steins Gate. Steins Gate's story revolves around the self-proclaimed mad scientist Okabe, his friends, and their laboratory. Uh, they gather together to hang out and perform experiments. One day, however, an experiment doesn't go quite as planned, and they discover they have the ability to alter the flow of time. This story follows the, this group of people as they make this discovery and have to deal with the consequences. Steins Gate is a perfect series for anyone who loves sci-fi. The series deals with scientific theories in a fascinating and entertaining way. It does start off slow, but it picks up really quickly and really ends up keeping you on the edge of your seat. Definitely an easy recommendation for any fan of the sci-fi genre. But uh, let me know what you guys thought of this list in the comments section down below. Um, and if there's any other genre or uh, things that you would like to see covered um, and in maybe another article or video, uh, leave that in the comment section. Also, if you have any other suggestions for anyone that is uh, looking for uh, some good gateway anime for their friends or family, uh, also leave that in the comment section down below. If you click the link on the screen, it'll take you to the first episode of the Attack on Anime podcast, which is a podcast featuring me and some other writers from waterwindergirl.com, uh, as well as the Black Critic Guy. So you can go ahead and click that and check out the podcast, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please make sure to like the video if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later.